National Educator. My name is teacher Steven Kiamba, presenting to you a secondary school revision and our subject is business studies and we are going to deal with the topic of international trade. Let's look at the objectives of our lesson today. By the end of the lesson, you should be able to interpret the questions and give the most satisfactory responses. Let's have an activity in form of a question that will guide us to learn how to interpret a given question and also look at examples of appropriate or satisfactory responses. Our question goes like this. State four forms of economic integration that may exist between countries and their question is awarded for Max. Lana, whenever you get a question like the one we have seen, it is always very important to examine the question appropriately and understand the terms used as well as what is required of you. To be able to do that, let us look at various notes. Number one, identify the theme of the question. And in this case, the theme of the question is on forms of economic integration. Why is it important for you to identify the theme? In other words, the theme is the subject, the area which is being tested. So that means if you do not know the forms of economic integration, you will not be able to give appropriate or rather relevant responses. So that is why you need to identify from which part of business studies the question is testing from, and that is the theme. Number two, examine the requirement in the question. Usually the requirement is in a numerical form, either in figures or in words, and in our case it is four, because the question requires you to give four forms of economic integration. Once you know the number that is required, it helps you to know the limit so that you do not waste time giving many responses that are not necessary, although they might be correct. Lana, you may ask why we need to limit ourselves to four. Let me ask you a question, Lana. Assuming you had a car, and you have a spare wheel in the boot of the car. And then it happens that the spare wheel, which is usually not new, is the one you have fixed in the car, and the new wheel is the one you have kept for spare. In such a situation, you have taken a weaker wheel to use on the road while you have a better one that you have kept in store. So, we are saying give the first correct responses first because the spare ones are not important for the first sight. 